For at TV, the world is thinking. A common criticism these days is that political candidates have become too cautious, too focus grouped. With all of the emphasis on political consultants, such as yourselves, and polls to test out different campaign messages and ads, and the threat of having any slip up or gaffe immediately posted to YouTube for instant viewing, are presidential candidates becoming less willing to take bold positions um, and to lead on the issues? Are the kind of candidates we see today more timid and less effective as political leaders compared to those of the past? And let's start with Les Francis on this one. Well, if you have, as I have uh, watched or listened to most of the debates, not all of them, uh, you see this taking place. The candidates are being more and more cautious. Nobody wants to make a big mistake uh, in one of those. So they're following their talking points, whether they're responsive to the question or not. That's always been a problem to some extent. I think it's been aggravated this time because we have so many candidates on both sides. Uh, but yes, I think those of us in the consulting world uh, have uh, contributed to this problem. The media has contributed to this problem. Uh, it is, I think, alarming. The voters are turning off. Uh, Ed and I participated in a conference last weekend on the relationship between our political campaigns and increased civic disengagement. It's a, it's a real problem, and candidates have to answer for it, consultants have to answer for it. I'd argue that voters have to answer for it uh, to some extent as well. You saw a bit of spontaneity uh, four years ago uh, when Howard Dean, uh, who went out as a, as a uh, underdog candidate, went out and raised more money on the internet, uh, lit a fire among Democrat activists who were against the war, and became a very credible candidate, uh, was actually leading the pack for a while. And he had a moment of spontaneity. Uh, he forgot that he was not just in a room uh, speaking to admiring crowds, he was as every candidate now is because everyone in their pocket has a cell phone that can has a, a camera on it or something that can instantaneously move a picture or a sound or a mistake anywhere. He did his roar, and obviously it was the roar heard around the political world at least, uh, and all of a sudden uh, he was no longer quite the credible candidate uh, that, uh, that he was. Uh, we play uh, what we call in the game gotcha politics. Uh, uh, the game is far too long today. Uh, we have 397 days from today before the election is to be held. Uh, it seems like it's been going on forever already, and it's still another four months before a vote is cast. Uh, there is a process now in which uh, the media barely covers campaigns anymore uh, because it's too expensive. So they send out a stringer or they send out someone who basically gets a clip of something and what makes the news is not Fred Thompson, as the New York Times has today, Fred Thompson giving some kind of a speech that matters, but it's Fred Thompson puts an audience to sleep and has to ask for an applause line at the end in a, in a small diner in Iowa. Uh, that's the big front page story in the New York Times today. Uh, uh, and, and I think to a certain extent, the candidates, and it's not consultants, consultants try and basically give them guidance. We're, 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 we're not, if you ever believe that candidates turn to you and say, Ed, Les, tell me what I should say. Uh, you have not lived in the world that we've lived in. Uh, uh, we, we usually are saying, why did you say that stupid thing? I now got to go out and clean it up. Uh, but the reality is that, that, that most, most candidates uh, uh, are very committed, very smart, very capable people, and, and they want to connect with voters. They want to go out and talk about issues. Uh, but if you go out today and talk about everything, if, if, if Hillary Clinton and Rudy Giuliani went out today as front runners and laid out all of their foreign policy, all of the things that they wanted to talk about. It'd be a one day story tomorrow on the Washington Post and what have you. And then they'd say, well, what else do you want to talk about for the next 396 days? So part of it is a measured laying out of the, of the process. Two, it's, so, it's more about the process. Uh, we have so many idiotic polls today that don't mean a thing. Uh, as a national poll every other day, uh, you know, and they're indicators of, of where you may be or, or might be or what your momentum might be, but it certainly is not uh, a certificate of how voters are going to actually vote uh, when they get into that voting booth. But are candidates more cautious? They are, and they are for a reason, because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like NCAA, the final, final 64 teams. You get one, one loss and you can be out of there real quick. Uh, Rudy Giuliani spontaneously answers the phone from his wife uh, 
and all of a sudden, was it, was it a gag or is it for real? He does it one more time, he'll drop 10 points in the poll. Uh, and I think that's the sad part of it. It's all about process, it's not about substance.